Okay, it's another uh, little project. I've uh, had a few of these lately. Um, this is a, um, I didn't show some of them on YouTube because I've already done a video of one of the uh, 1,800 watt generic ones. And uh, yeah, so here we go. This is a Evo power board, originally 36 volt. Originally had that in it. That's the original motor. Um, the back plate smashed to pieces, so you know, hey ho. Um, that's what I've got with it anyway. Who remembers when RC car motors and quad magnets was a big deal? <laughs> Make you feel old yet? Yeah, I know. That's uh, you know, That little puppy on there could have 10 times peak power than what this thing can. So that's just the way things are these days. That's an old brushed motor, ferrite magnets and all. <laughs> Put you down there. So yeah, what makes this scooter a bit different is it still has the same awful headset design. But you know, swings and roundabouts and all that. It has these beautiful, they will be when they're polished up, aluminium wheels they are cast aluminium you can still see the flash from the casting process on there <laughs> yeah cast and machine but they didn't get rid of the flash so they machined this they didn't get rid of the flash that doesn't make any sense anyway they look quite nice anyway even with the flash still there not really a big issue you can get rid of that very easily if you really wanted to um i'll probably sell this on way before then we'll see um yes i know i've got a bit of welding to do over here uh, this motor would not go in Basically, I bought a motor from Math Scooters, or a couple of them. One of them turned up, it was a front wheel motor for like a quick carty type thing. So it was a hub motor. And then they used the shipping from that to tell eBay that I'd basically received, not this, not the MY1020, the other one. The MY, I can't remember, it's a 10 series, but I can't remember what they call it. It's the one without this plate. And they said it had been delivered, and it absolutely hadn't. I have not got the thing. You know, it said on the actual main eBay postage thing that it had been... Yeah, it hadn't been delivered, and then they told sent eBay themselves different information, so I never got my motor, I never got my money either. That was Math Scooters. Do not buy anything off Math Scooters. They are seriously sketchy, and you'll see their feedback. They have got great feedback anyway. Um, yeah, that was malicious, I'm pretty sure they... Anyway, so we've got a MY1020 in here mounted to the holes at the front. I might need to make some modifications because it's only sitting on two bolts. And this is the same motor that's in the Mario Kart. Um... If you haven't seen that, watch that video. That thing is stupidly quick on 72 volts. This is going to be even more insane because it's even lighter. But these two bolts here, I can just imagine it going dink, dink, and that's just going to shear and come off completely. So I might need to make a little bracket for the top here that actually utilizes this mounting plate because, yeah, I just, even this mounting plate on the quad flexes like hell. We've got it mounted here and we've got it mounted here as well and at the back. And it still flexes like hell. Well, that's being seriously overvolted. It's running 72 volts, and the controller's rated at 150 amps. So yeah, you know, it's it's handling it. It doesn't get too hot, or at least not on short runs. So you could get some serious, serious speed out of these. And of course, you've got the gearing as well. Um, so yeah, it's not just like a hub motor where it's a fixed speed. These you can change the actual gear ratios. And uh, yeah, so this is an Evo powerboard scooter, or it was originally. The shocks are all undone where I put the motor in at the moment. They're non-damped, there's no damping or anything like that. They're just a coil shock and nothing else. Um, there's your battery box. There's no controller in here at the minute. I'm waiting on a controller coming for it because uh, I had one in mind, but it turns out she was dead as a door now. Um, 18 feet, I believe some were wired in parallel because some were obviously visually bad, but it was still working. And um, then I went to, uh, tr you know, it actually destroyed the pads, so you couldn't exactly just put new fats in it, it destroyed the board. I tried to run it as is, and it chose that time to give up this extra motor. It's in the NDS1, the last video, and I put it in here, and the motor done about three rotations before the controller just goes, nope, I'm done, bang. And um, yeah, I should have got that on camera, really. That was pretty spectacular. Um, and uh, yeah, so waiting for a controller to turn up from the Big Rock Candy Mountain. And we will be shunt modding it again, of course. Um, I haven't got any other ones lying around. I've got a bad batch last time, so we'll see what turns up this time. Ordered from multiple sellers this time, not just one. So I won't get ones that do weird stuff, like when you plug them in, they just go flat out, or they go flat out after a certain amount of time and don't respond to throttle or brake inputs at all. Or ones that go flat out and when you twist the throttle it stops yeah i've had yeah honestly that's what's been happening really 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 strange things from those tripsoidal square wave chinese controllers i mean i have good luck with them generally they they put out a lot of power they're a bit noisier and technically a little bit less efficient but and they ramp up a bit quick but if you're used to them they're absolutely fine really most of the time i might get a sabotron or something like that in the future i just 
dread it not turning up because it's from the same source essentially so you never know it might not arrive um, and i've seen one of those things where the um main power input wires are shorted against the housing they've like nip- crimped it together so they're not even built that well um you know i'm just it's made in china it's slightly fancy and made in china but it's still made in china and i don't want to lose 350 quid <laughs> thank you very much these little uh cheapy controllers for 25 30 quid when they work they're pretty good but lately i've had, had a few problems so i might consider something a bit better i might even consider back in high school i actually made my own <laughs> so yeah that was years ago but um, I've certainly considered it. I found one of those sites where you can, you know, design your own board layout and stuff like that, build something absolutely insane, 24 FET jobby, which are pretty hard to get hold of. And yeah, just go off of, you know, everything's open source these days. So I might go that route, um, you know, been a while, but I'm definitely thinking about doing that. Rather than, you know, buying one for 350 quid, I'd sooner make one, <laughs> even if it costed uh, that much. It'd still be a fun project. Um, but yeah, so... This thing should absolutely fly once it's done. Considering replacing these with some air shocks, um, it's got this awesome fork on here as well. Look at how awesome that suspension is right there. That's really going to do something. But unlike the other ones, these plates are much thicker. That's eight mil thick. The others are like four mil thick. Four mil thick. Some are six mil. It's not an inch eighth head tube. I think it's inch and a quarter which is a pain in the butt, we inch and a quarter headset, so you can't just swap the headset out. It's almost like a bicycle headset in reverse, threading nuts on the bottom. But yeah, it's a different size. There's the folding mechanism there, as we all know. Yeah, they're all right, but um, we're going to be getting a lot more power out of this one for sure. Sort of top cap where the ignition used to be. Someone's put that on there. This throttle's fried. They've cut the brake inhibitors. I'm going to reinstate those because... They are handy if the throttle goes short, you can press the brake and it t- t- shuts the control off. There's only a hole effect sensor in here. If that hole effect sensor fails, the thing's just going to go flat out. That isn't what happened in the last case for me. That it was simply the controller didn't respond to any inputs and outputs at all from the inhibitors or from the throttle. So it wasn't cruise control, it had just gone flat out. That was on the Xiaomi M365 two wheel drive scooter I did. It's totaled. Um, I'm alright, but it's totally fried. Didn't look that bad of a crash, but it was enough to crack all the welds on the frame. And yeah, unfortunately I need to get another frame, another scooter, another front motor, another rear motor. It just damaged, I might be able to clean it up with a die. Just uh, clean the burr off the threads and we might be able to get, reuse the motor, we'll see. Um, it's the main, mainly the uh, rear one I'm interested in keeping. The front one, the threads are kind of toast anyway. It's stuck on there, it's not... It's not going to come off. <laughs> it's been rounded to the point where it's stuck on, like cross-threaded, and they've rounded the bolts off. So, yeah, I will build another one of those, though. But I just don't like the idea of using only regen braking. Eh, yeah, no, I have seen a few people do that, and it's just failed. You know, sorry, it's been a bit of a long, rambly one, this. But, um, yeah, that concludes this video on this little, uh, or rather big, should I say, electric scooter. Not exactly the sort of thing you're going to pop, you know, <laughs> look... <laughs> You know, subtle on riding down the street, is it? I think if someone saw you on that, because they are technically illegal in the UK, which, uh, you know, is kind of stupid, really, when... Well, it's not for this sort of thing. You can see why this would be, because it's just too fast. But the regular Xiaomi scooters um, and things like that, the ones that do 15.5 mile an hour, is it really any worse than an electric bike? You can still use the old electric bikes for the twist throttles. Um, you know, it's like, what the hell? Yeah, anyway, that concludes this uh, video on this electric scooter. See you later.